Hi, I'm Jen Saunders, and I've let go of over 140 pounds over the past couple of years. And I get asked a lot how I did it. And the first thing I tell people is that I did it without dieting. And so I completely gave up the notion of dieting. I had tried probably every different diet out there, and every time I tried a diet, even when I stuck to it to the letter, I ended up gaining more weight. And so I reached this point in my life where I just gave it up. I just could not do it anymore. It was constant self-punishment and my, my self-worth just hinged on the number on the scale. So what I did was I moved from this really kind of cycle of self-hatred into self-love. And they really are in parallel with the dieting mentality to giving up dieting. So diets are restrictive and punitive and not dieting means that you have to think about what you're putting in your body. Is this food I'm eating nourishing me or is it making me unhealthy and unhappy? And with that sort of first step, which was a self-acceptance and also self-awareness, I began to make all kinds of other small changes in my life over time. Things like doing yoga for the first time, paying attention to my creative side, making vision boards, journaling, and also being aware of how my body felt you know, I had no idea what eating dairy and gluten, what other things do I have problems with? Pork, strawberries, refined sugar, how they were making me feel. And through self-awareness and a yoga practice, I realized that I was very sensitive to those foods and ultimately was diagnosed as intolerant to those foods. So... What I would recommend to people who always ask how I let go of this weight and how I changed my life, the three things that I tell them are one is to become aware of what you're doing in your life. How are you spending your time? What foods are you eating? You know, what are you doing? Are you aware of how you're actually living your life? The second thing is aligning your core values with your actions. So if you value health, does do the activities that you're doing reflect that value of health? And the third thing is, as corny as it sounds, is to love yourself. And whenever I had heard that before, I kind of thought, well, yeah, everybody loves themselves. Um, but I really began to think about what that meant. And what it means is putting your self-care at the top of your list. And you he often hear uh, speakers use the analogy of the airplane mask. You can't help anybody else until you put the oxygen mask on yourself. So those three things of self-awareness, alignment of your core values, and taking care of yourself first really help to create the change that you're looking for. And those are things that a diet can't provide you with. So... Best of luck to you and remember to always take care of yourself first.